so I've been suffering with IBS since I've been um, nine at nine I would get in incredibly horrendous pains in my stomach I would start to feel sick um, I really would just not feel well at all um, and I would scream I would scream for hours and hours and hours um, I'm talking screaming at the top of my lungs kind of screaming um, and it was just because the panic um, whenever I used to feel sick um, or uh, get pains in my belly I would begin to feel really sick and have pains in my belly and panic um, because I knew that uh, it would last all night I knew that I would get in trouble with my mum because of I used to scream um, I knew I'd get told off by her I knew I'd get left in the bathroom you know I just knew that I was going to be left and just in a lot of pain and not comforted or anything so that wasn't um that wasn't very nice at all so um they say the doctor that I um heard from has said that there's a massive link between your gut and your brain like if you was to get upset worried or something like that or if something bad was to happen your stomach will gurgle well a lot of the times it will and that's because your brain is telling your gut, oh shit, you know, panic, panic, panic. Um, and obviously your body, it doesn't want to panic, it doesn't like it. So your stomach will turn over, you know. Um, the symptoms that I get with the bellyache is TMI, but diarrhea, sickness and cramps. With IBS, um, if anyone else does suffer with it, you know, you will know that you the cramps and the pain if you pass wind or if you go to the toilet the pain does subside but with me I'll go to the toilet the pain will build build up again and then I'll have to go again and again like and this is constantly this is not just for like 30 minutes I'm talking like six seven hours or you know I'm sick until there's nothing left in my stomach and literally I'm just chucking up stomach acid and sometimes I have to like get a pint of water and just drink the water drink the water so that when I do gag I've got something to be sick rather than just chucking up stomach acid which is it's not pleasant I'm telling you you get a sore throat and if you dry heave the muscles all like my muscles around here around my back they would always really really hurt um so yeah the like now to sort of stop the panic attack this, that's the only time I get panic attacks you know if I get the belly ache or on the very rare occasion I think you know um it's always the physical symptoms that come first the belly ache and then it will be my heart races and my heart jumps up to 180 which is not very um I don't look very appealing I look horrible um you know, it's not it's not fun because when your heart is going that fast, literally all you can do is just like I I'm, I like fall to the floor sometimes. Not because I've passed out. I mean, I do pass out, but it's it's because I feel so heavy. My heart is going so fast. It just like I can't stand up. Um, ambulances have had to be called because even if it's a panic attack and an IBS attack, when your heart goes that fast, it could stop. You know, it could, it really can stop um, <clears throat> if it's going like that for an extended period of time. And sometimes, if you have an intense panic attack, it can give you a heart attack. I mean, I know that. You know, it can give you, it can give you a heart attack. Um, so yeah, but basically, the the ways that I've tried to, the things that uh, you know that IBS has affected with me is. It has affected my confidence. It's affected me going out. Because if I go out and I have something to eat, I'll literally eat my food and then we'll have to leave the restaurant because I want to get home because I'm going to need to go to the toilet. Or I feel sick or something like that. And I don't like going to the toilet out in public, you know. Like, to the toilet toilet, if you know what I mean. It's, it's an embarrassing thing, you know. And obviously, if you've got really bad diarrhoea, you don't want people to hear you going to the toilet or, you know, 
anything like that or smell or nothing you know so when I'm at home it's like I feel better here and I don't want to go out if I've so much as got the tiniest little bit of a bellyache no I don't want to go or if I go out I just won't eat all day long because then I'm not going to suffer with really really bad panic but you know I've got a seven month old baby now and I can't I can't live like this forever, you know, so there's things that I've tried, and at the moment, you know, it's still in the sort of trying it out stages, but I had to go to the toilet the other day when I was out, you know, and it instead of panicking, you know, and having a panic attack and it getting really bad, I just told myself, don't worry, you've got your, well, I'll show you what my kit is in a minute, you've got your kit, don't worry, you know, and then it's nothing to be ashamed of, it's nothing to be ashamed of, and I just kept having to tell myself that, and it'll be fine, you know, and what I mean by my little kit is this, this, and where's it gone, oh, oh I've got such an itchy nose, my lip is so itchy, I think I've got a spot, itchy lip, right, my kit, this is what I mean by my kit, and what this is, is a fruity strawberry body spray that isn't like an aerosol it's it's like a like um a spritzer sort of spray if you get what i mean it smells of strawberries obviously so there's that and this this um is just a little well this is from morgan i got bought this for christmas it come in a little wash kit but this is just a little bag and what i keep inside it are these this is busker pan, as you can see. Oh, can you see that there is them missing? Let me, there we go. There's some busker pan in here. This is, and I'm not saying that you should do this, but this is what I do. I have to take six of these in one go to be able to control the the really bad um, belly, belly pain. Um, so I keep a few of these. What have we got here? We've got another, got some more here. And then I have a whole packet of busker pan. So I make sure that I take these out everywhere that I go. I've got some of the weaker cocodamol that you can buy over the counter over in um, here in the UK. You can buy these over the counter. paracetamol don't take you can't take cocodamol and paracetamol together because um they're the same thing you know the paracetamol is just for if it's not as bad or whatever and then also these now i get these from my doctors because obviously i do have a medical condition that is what's making me need these this is a medicine called lopramide hydrochloride and they're two milligram tablets. These are diarrhea medication, basically. This is prescription Imodium Instant or Imodium. You know, you can get... And I have got Imodium. I, right here. I used to go um, and just to the pharmacy and have to buy the Imodium Instants. Um, but then obviously I spoke with my doctor and I can get it on prescription. So if you do suffer with IBS and diarrhea, that might be something to go and speak with him about. So yeah, so, um, I keep these with me. Um, I'm sure you can guess the reason why I've got this body spray is because it's, it's quiet. It doesn't make a noise like air freshener would or, you know, like a, uh, a different kind of body spray or something like that or perfume, you know, um, it it's it's quiet, and if I'm in the toilet, I've been to the toilet, I will literally just spray it. You know, um, because it's cheap. I got I got these from Boots. This is just um, I don't know if it's going to be able to see it because of the light. There we go. No, nope. this is just it does smell so good, but it's um, you know, oh, you can't even see that. Oh, no, you can't see it, but I can. Now I'm soaking wet. Um, but yeah, the smell on this is very strong. So if you do need to be out and about and you need to go to the toilet, you know, um, you just um, 
can spray this inside because it's quiet, it smells, I've said it a thousand times now, it's quiet, it smells nice and it's discreet and then you haven't got to worry about that. Um, the other thing that is in this bag that I don't think you really want to see is a spare pair of underwear. Unfortunately, if you are an IBS sufferer that does suffer with diarrhea, sometimes, you know, maybe not all the time, maybe only once or whatever, you know, you can have, it can happen, you know what I'm talking about, um, it can happen, so, you know, just have a, keep a spare pair of knickers just in your little bag, and, um, you know, take that, take, put that everywhere you go, like in your handbag, it's small enough to just fit in there, no one else will know what it is, you know, it could look like a makeup bag, no one's gonna want to go in that, or anything like that, I mean, you can get little thingies like this, um, on eBay, there is, really cheap ones i'll link you to just a plain little makeup bag i think it's like 99p with free postage so you can just get or oh, if you've already got something then just use that but yeah so this is what i've been using and i swear by it i mean it it, it doesn't stop your ibs it's never going to stop your ibs nothing if you're because mine is stress triggered not food triggered it's stress and things like that, you know, I mean, I'm having therapy, there's ways you can cope with it, but you're always, you know, gonna need a bit of, you know, something, so this is just to help you cope, you know, because, as I said, with me, it was, I didn't want to go out, because I was worried about messing myself, oh, well, I've got clean knickers, I'm worried that I'm going to be in a lot of pain, make sure that I take this everywhere I go, you know, don't want to go to the toilet in public, I've got something that will just, you know, lessen it a bit, you know, and just things like that, and we, when it comes to the panic, I just tell myself, like, for example, if I'm out and about, I'll be like, oh my god, I'm gonna, sh like, shit myself, I'm gonna shit myself, and constantly panic, panic, now, no, if that thought pops into my head, I'll literally, I'll just go, well, it doesn't matter, you've got knickers in your bag, just calm, all you've got to do is walk to the toilet, just calm, calm, because otherwise it'll be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, everyone's gonna know, this, this, blah, 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 constantly, you know, running through my mind and scaring me and things like that, so, yeah, I mean, I hope someone found this a little bit useful, I guess, um, and, oh, yeah, that's it really, so 